In this episode, we're going to learn two ways to use those crazy QR codes to point to any website you want to. QR codes, QR codes, everywhere QR codes. What are these little squares and why do we need them? Oh my goodness, it seems like everywhere you go nowadays, you see this little square and it says, scan me, or it says, use your phone to scan me. It's like, what in the world are all these things doing and where did they come from? Well, you know what? What's funny about QR codes is they've been around for well over a decade, maybe even longer. And they're, they're, they're set up to be quick response codes so that you can scan something and get to something very quickly. What's interesting about these codes is they're really just really intricate barcodes like you'd see on the back of your milk or, or anything you buy at the grocery store that we've been scanning for years. But the cool thing about QR codes is you can actually create these QR codes and use them to point to all kinds of different things. You can use them to point to your Wi-Fi network at your house to let your friends be able to get on the Wi-Fi if you want to. You can use them to uh, show your email address to somebody that will actually just go ahead and fill in their email. You can use it to send your contact card information over. You can use QR codes for literally anything you can think of, but one of the greatest things that people use them for is to point you to a web page. And today, that's exactly what we're gonna learn. So without further ado, let's see the QR codes. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and open up Google and you're going to type in QR code generator. This will take you to a web search for the QR code generators. And I usually pick the very first one that's right there. Um, it's free and it seems to be pretty easy to use. So I'll show you how to use that one there. Just click on QR code generator. Just go ahead and accept the cookies and you're going to type in the web address that you want your QR code to point to. So someone, when somebody scans your QR code, you'll uh, send them to this web address. I'm going to type in americantrainingacademy.org, which is my website, and I'm going to create a QR code to send people there. And you'll see over on the right, it's already been made, but you can click on these little frames at the top. The ones at the very top are all free and they can you can just get the QR code or you can get one that says scan me at the bottom or it'll say scan me at the top uh, or scan me a little bit further down, just different styles. But if you choose one of the ones on the bottom, they're going to want some information from you. And I don't like to give them information. So I just choose one of the ones at the top because I'm not that picky. You can also choose different styles of your QR code. You got blocky ones, you got dotted ones. Uh, it just depends on how you like it to look. Choose the one you want, and then you're going to click Download. That'll download your PNG file. Now, when you click on that, it's going to look like it needs information, but it doesn't. If you read at the top, it's making your QR code, and it will actually open up a window that will have you download that QR code. So just wait. Just be patient, and, uh, and it, I promise it'll pop up. Save your QR code at whatever name you want to make it, and then you're going to go back into your file explorer and find that QR code, which I have down in a bunch of different folders. I do apologize for that. It'll take me a second here. But once you find it in your folders, you're going to click on it, and it'll come up. And I'd invite you to go ahead and scan that with your phone. If you're not watching this on your phone, just scan that with your phone, and it'll take you to americantrainingacademy.org. It's as simple as that. However, as I promised... Uh, there's going to be a second bonus way of creating a QR code. And of course, you can print these on a sticker or on a piece of paper, however you want. But, but now, now for our, our bonus, bonus creation. creation. This one is actually built right in Google Chrome. So go into your address bar, type in the uh, web address that you want to go to. So in my case, I'm going to go to my website, americantrainingacademy.org. Oh, I mistyped. I typed in meeting. So let me take that out of there real quick and we'll go to the home page. You'll see my home page there. Then you're going to go over and click on the three dots over in the top right corner of Google Chrome. And when you open up those three dots, you're going to see your menu. You'll want to click on save and share. And then it's going to have create QR code. Click on create QR code. And this is so slick. Once you do that, it's going to pop up there. It's got a little dinosaur in the middle. That's Google's thing. And then you click on download and it will download that QR code wherever you want to download it at. Once again, I'm going to download it in my uh, tree of folders here. So give me just a second here. I'm going to open that up so you can find it and you can see that in there. Um, 
once you have opened up that QR code, obviously you can print that onto a piece of paper, you can print it onto a sticker, you can use it as a background on your phone if you want to send people there. Uh, you can you know, save the picture on your phone and hold up your phone and let people scan it there. It's just awesome. And once again, Google's thing is to have that T-Rex in the middle, you can't get rid of it. But I don't happen to like it, that's why I use the QR code generator, but you can use anything you want. QR codes are so cool and they have a lot of different uses. But um, I just think they're awesome. You know, QR codes are great things. Um, they're fun to play with because what they do is they allow you to give somebody the ability to get to where they need to go quickly without making any mistakes. You know, I I've often typed in things on my little bitty keyboard trying to get to a URL and I mistyped something that's so frustrating, but with a QR code, it takes you right to it. And it kind of reminds me of a time when Jesus was talking to a crowd in Matthew 7. He said this, he said, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives and the one who seeks finds and the one who knocks has the door opened. Listen, this world is crazy right now. And you sometimes need a QR code to give you the, to, to point you in the right direction. This is your QR code, okay? All you gotta do is ask. Don't listen to me, just ask. Ask this guy up here, what's going on? If you ask him, he will give it to you. He will give you the answers. If you seek him, you will find him. And if you knock on his door, guess what? He's gonna open it up for you. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed this path down the QR code lane. Uh, you can use these for a lot of different things. I'll be happy to post videos on other usages for QR codes if you'd like to see them. Just post in the comments below. And let me know how you like this video. I'd really appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe. It would mean an awful lot to me on this channel. Thanks so much. Hope you got a lot out of it. See you next time.